Why it's hard to go to bed with ADHD, part one. It's really hard to admit that the day's over and we're not gonna get anything else done. We wanna squeeze just one more thing in or maybe all the things. A lot of times we feel guilty that we weren't able to get more done. And so we feel like we'll justify going to sleep if we squeeze another thing in. Of course, we don't always work at our best at those times. So sometimes that one thing takes a long time. And then there's the sibling issue of not getting up early enough or sleeping in really late because I stayed up too late the night before to get that one more thing done. And now I'm too tired to get up and really do anything. And I'm all groggy because I slept weird hours. And so I can't really get myself going until the deadline of the day ending gets me to finally do something. And then I start doing something. And then of course, I can't go to bed on time because I have to squeeze one more thing in. And on the other side of that is the idea that I got a bunch of stuff done today, but I didn't have any time for me. I didn't have enough fun during the day. And so now my inner teenager, when it's time to go to bed, is like, we're not going to bed. We actually didn't get any fun today. And so I stay up playing video games or scrolling mindlessly, which doesn't actually fill your fun bar all that much. It just, it just makes you not sleep and feel bad about it in the morning. That is called revenge bedtime procrastination, where I didn't do enough fun for me during the day, and so now I find myself doing it at night instead of going to bed, which also would be for me. Stay tuned for part two.